Good morning, everybody, and welcome to a very exciting video. So right now it is literally morning. It is only about eight o'clock, and I am just waking up to head to the gym. I may still sound nasally and might still sound kind of sick-ish, but that's because I'm still having quite bad reactions to my allergies. I got a bunch of allergy inflammation and congestion and all that stuff from our like three days of 88 degrees in a row. And yesterday, it snowed. So we're right back to winter again. But anyways, so today's video is a thrift with me today. It's gonna be me going to the bins. We're gonna shop together. Ryan's busy working today, teaching, so he can't go with me. So you guys are gonna keep me company and you're gonna come along with me to the bins. Mike is here as well. Let's get a little shot of Mike. He's right there. Here's Mike. There's Mike. Mike's watching the TV. Mike loves watching TV. It's kind of odd. Like he'll sit in bed and do this. Like that's, the, he's looking at the TV right now. It doesn't even need to be a dog on. He'll just like, oh, okay. I'm like, are you absorbing this? This makes me uncomfortable. Okay, anyways, so this always happens when I do these like morning, good morning, little vloggy bits before we go to the gym and the bins. So I'm gonna go to the gym before the bins, as per usual, you guys know the drill, and then we're gonna go to the bins. But what I'm trying to manifest today at the bins would be some good old spring stuff once again. I would love to kind of continue on what Ryan and I's goals were. The last thrift with us at the bins, which was to not get chunky coats, chunky sweaters, things that need to hang. Our storage unit is getting quite full up of hanging stuff. I don't know, I just, I would like to avoid that. I also don't really want a bunch of shoes. It's not that I have too many shoes, but I don't have a ton of room for shoes. So though I don't have much, I don't have much room for more. I'd be okay finding shoes, especially if they were obviously like high under luxury, but I'm not really like, I don't have a goal of getting shoes. I also don't really have a goal of getting bags either. Though we never see bags there anyways, so that's not going to be too hard to not find. But again, it's just like room. Ryan and I both really need to do a inventory kind of rundown, go through our inventory on Posh, sort it by likes and write down some stuff to consign or to send a thread up or to give to Debbie to sell if she wants or just stuff to like move on or mark down really low. I don't know. I would really just like to get some good spring stuff, some stuff that fits into inventory bags, stuff that's really easy to store. That's what I'm looking for. Like a full Ikea bag of really pretty blouses and dresses and maybe some pants and maybe some jeans, that's fine too. Shorts, all that kind of fun stuff. So that's the goal today. Not gonna be mad with shoes. Not gonna be mad if I find handbags. Really gonna try to avoid getting hanging stuff unless it's great. And I also will probably still try to not get too much vintage because I just never feel like I know vintage as well as Ryan. So half of mine fails and flops and half of mine does good. So it's a harder game for me to do vintage. But if I found something super good, that's fine. Enough talking about what we want. Let's move on to actually hunting. So I am gonna say goodbye for right now and I'm gonna go to the gym and then I will see you guys at the bins after that. I'm excited, are you? I am. I hope you guys are too. I did have a few packages that needed to go out the door this morning, so on the way to the gym, I did drop those off. <sighs> oh my gosh, it is so cold and so windy, but I'm done with the gym now. <sighs> So let's go to the bins. Just arrived and it seems crazy busy. So that's kind of a bummer. I'm actually like a parking lot over. The building's like, this is it. I can't even show you the Goodwill sign behind me. That's not a great sign, but let's give it a go. <laughs> When I walked in, I wouldn't say it seemed as busy as the full parking lot made it seem from the outside. First thing I spotted was this Obermeyer jacket. It was a woman's, but unfortunately it had this big mark at the front. Normally I would send these into the real real, but with the mark, that's a definite no.
first thing I found that I did want to get was this Faherty flannel. I totally forgot, but I almost would put Faherty onto my best brands of all time list for 2023. I love selling this brand, and lately I've actually been finding it a few times. Here's an example of something that I grabbed for Debbie, my mom. This is a Betsy Johnson tie-dye lightning bolt sweatshirt. I just think that that'll do good for her. It's a brand that she personally does like, and it's just super cute, so I think that that'll sell well for her. My cart layout goes like this. This is for consigning, this is for Debbie or the Real Real or Ryan, and this stuff is for me, though I accidentally had been putting stuff for Ryan in this pile already, like this vintage paisley vest. There were a bunch of these cute patterned sheets of fabric that looked very Free People-esque, so they just kept tricking me. <laughs> Suddenly, I looked up and I saw that the shoe rotation was happening, so this is me running over to the shoes. <laughs> Lately, our bins have implemented covering up all of the bins on the switch out with sheets. I'm not exactly sure how I feel about it. It does seem more fair since no one knows what's under them, but also it is nice to be able to know what you want to go wait for. These were horrifying. In the shoe switch out, they are kind of a mad dash nowadays, so I just grab stuff and go back to my cart and look at it. So let's take a peek at what I did grab. This belt seemed nice, though I had never heard of the brand before. It is called Smathers and Branson or something like that. So I put it in a Google pile and I decided to look it up later. I did grab quite a few ties that looked nice, but this one unfortunately was not nice at all. This was just a scarf that I am going to use to ship stuff with. It's by Coldwater Creek, but the brand never really matters to me on those. This is another tie and it was nothing. Another tie by Pronto Uomo, so this was nothing either. This was a really cute Easter tie, but had no brand. This is an AGL. I did find a pair of those, but I don't like AGLs, so I skipped both. This I do not remember grabbing, and um, what? Here is a good pair of shoes. These are Sam Edelman actually, and they are rain boots. They are quite nice. So I was pretty excited to find both of those. Even the bottom is super clean. This is another belt. It looked like Brighton, but it actually ended up not being Brighton. Either way, I ended up not really wanting it. This is a good tie. This was a Burberry tie. That is a great find for the ties and I was happy to find that and I will sell that myself. This is a tie of people playing football and it had no good brand to it. We had one Ugg, we had one Hoka, and the rest was basically junk. Well, the belt ended up being a $180 belt, so I'm just gonna have this little skelly protect it for me. <laughs> I thought that this dead stock cottagecore top was so cute. I think I'm gonna give it to Ryan, but I just think it's adorable. And in a bin that many people had already looked through, I found this Oscar de la Renta beautiful satin white robe. So beautiful, so soft, and this Oscar de la Renta slip nighty as well. Always look in the bins, even if people have already went through them. I really liked the color to this Banana Republic blazer. It also is in really great shape besides a few very small light marks that I think will wash out really, really well. So I'm totally gonna get this. I love selling Banana Republic blazers, kind of like I like to sell J. Crew blazers. Along with it, I found this Books to Bed pajama pants for a kid. I think they're so cute. Apparently they were pajama sets that came with books and they're based off of the books. I found this, which is for the Real Real. It is by a brand called Hickey Freeman. It's a very expensive brand. And this is just a really nice soft flannel type shirt. 
And then I also found this vintage but so tacky trendy field flower anthropology sweater. I love the big flowers at the front. I think it's perfect for the season and it's perfect for hashtag Y2K. Last was this J. Crew top that is very cute, but I'm sure I will just consign this. Another rotation down, and I have a lot to sort through for this, so let me look through all these things and I will show you guys the good stuff that I found. First up, we have an APC wool men's coat. This is so nice if you guys could just feel this wool. I have to make sure the real real takes it. If not, I would still get it and sell myself, but I'm gonna do a real real check on that one. This is a Pendleton sleeveless little sweater, and I will probably consign this somewhere. I just can't skip good shape Pendleton. I found another Ermena Gilda Zenia tie so i will be listing that with all those ties that i need to take pictures of this is a brand called circle rock that apparently has been acquired by Farabo woolen mills i did actually skip that though this is a new brand to me i had never heard of called corneliani it's very expensive and i have yet to do research on what i'm going to do with that but i'm definitely going to be getting it this is an athleta pair of leggings that are so cute and they're a size large which i feel like is so rare for finding athleta out in the wild in a large i love the print so i'm totally getting those and then this is a dress that i'm just gonna google and see if i want i also found this random wine glass from the 10th anniversary epcot food and wine gathering by a very expensive brand called shot zweisel very expensive well it looks like i'll be sending the apc coat into the real real it seems like they do mark them quite well and i'm glad that they do take the brand though i don't know why they wouldn't but this coat looks a lot like mine and they started it at 155 so i can do that I found this fanny pack and it is by Stony Clover Lane and I was assuming this was a Target piece. A, because of course when you find the Target collab brands you usually think it's one and also I mean their non-Target pieces feel just as high quality as their Target ones. So I posted it to Instagram because other people probably know more than me about it and sure enough it's not from the Target collab. It is its own actual Sony Clover Lane piece, so that is a great find, and it's my first time finding the brand. And another pretty pink piece, I found this Bagley Mishka slip dress that is so adorable. I don't know why nobody else grabbed that. Another beautiful pink slip. This is Flora by Flora Night Cruise, but unfortunately this one has quite a big spot on it that does not look like it could come out, so I will have to skip it. Weirdly enough, they are doing another shoe rotation, even though it's only been about an hour since the last one, which I'm not complaining, but I will probably have to go wild and crazy and fill my bag again, and then we can review what I found together. Yep, as expected, it was a mad dash, so I got a lot, and this was a much better shoe rotation. I'm very excited to show you guys what I got. First up, you know her, you love her. Everybody, welcome to the stage, Longchamp. <laughs> this is a Longchamp Little Lepliage classic bag. Of course, as expected in the bins, the corners do have scuffing to each one, but I would never skip a real one in the bins unless it was totally tore up. This is a really, really cute pair of boots, and these are by Sorel. Some woman put them back together. She had both. I don't know why, but I'll take them. This is a brand that I didn't know. I couldn't even really read it, but I only found one anyway, so it kind of doesn't really matter. This is another really cute pair of higher boots. These are by Clarks. I rarely pick up Clarks unless they're super cute, and I just really liked that style. This is a super adorable pair of shoes. These are metallic silver, which now we all know is super trendy this season, and these are by Gap. I've never tried Gap shoes, so this will be my first time. They're a size 11. Then we have this Eileen Fisher boot. It actually has this big chip on the back, and I did find both, but with that chip, I am not gonna be getting them. I found one single Croc sandal. 
This is a scarf by a brand I didn't recognize. I did look it up later and they are $18 on Amazon, so that's a no. I found these kind of Y2K chunky gothic 90s sandals. They were just a little too heavy, so I didn't get them. I found this Sorel, only this one, and this is like brand new, suede, so nice. That was heartbreaking and I spent the rest of the time looking for the other and didn't find it. The matches to my others. This is another Sorel. I know this style very well. This is the Joan of Arctic, and I did find both of those, so that was a great find. Seems to be a lot of Sorels in the bins today. This is a Franco Sardo. I just thought the style was kind of cute, but I only found one anyways. I'm not too heartbroken to skip it. This is a Sesto Miyuchi. I despise that brand, but I kind of liked the Velvet Leopard to those, so I was looking for the other and never found it. Another chunky donkey funky shoe, and this was Boots by Esprit. They were vintage Y2K, but I never found the other one. A belt that I thought maybe could be nice, but it had no branding whatsoever, and a scarf that was nothing. Oh yeah, and a Tumi bag that I will probably send to the real real, but it's in great shape. Though I am not looking for chunky sweaters or vintage pieces much, this was quite heartbreaking. This was a beautiful vintage wool sweater that was horribly, horribly shrunk. Oh, it was so cute. Another switch out down, and here is what I found. So I found this slip dress by Intisimi? Intisimi? Intimisimi? <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how you say it, but it was a cute black slip dress. I found this vintage kind of quilt jacket. It was more of like a ribbed quilting, but I thought this was so cute, and I think I've had one similar before that did so good. This was great, and this is for the real real. This is a cashmere brochu walker cardigan. This is a very expensive brand, and the real real does price it pretty decent, so I was excited to find that. This was MWL by Madewell, but unfortunately, there were stains around the collar, there were stains at the front, and then there was another stain at the front that was quite long and dark, and I just did not want to put the work into it. I have a feeling it wouldn't have come out. I also found this JOA sweater. I am trying to not get sweaters, but I'm gonna give it a Google and probably not get it because I also don't like JOA, but we will see. I found a new tag pair of Express shorts. They're actually quite cute. They have like a paper bag belt to them, so I'm gonna get those for the consignment store. And then I found, I know this breaks my rules of getting chunky things that hang, but this is so cute. It is a Free People chunky teddy jacket. It is a size extra small, even though it is very oversized. The lining has a small tear, but I don't think that's big of a deal. This is just so cute, I have to get it. I considered getting this H&M plaid blazer just because of how cute the colors are in the pattern, but I probably would have to hang it up in the storage unit, so I ended up skipping on that. This was a pair of Not Your Daughter's Jeans jeans to give to the consignment store. They love that brand. This was a pair of American Eagle jeans that I will sell because they are actually high-rise flare, and they are just too cute. I don't know exactly what year they're from, I'm sure it's like 2021 or something, but they are just adorable, so I am totally getting those. Those are a size four. I also spotted this tiny little Perry Ellis blazer. This is teeny tiny, it is so cute. It's for like a boy, I love it. Then I found this, which was such a bummer. It is pretty worn and torn, and it is by Doosan Doosan, which is a very expensive brand that the Real Real does actually take, and it can't even be at Anthro. I was heartbroken. This was an Abercrombie & Fitch jacket that I put in my cart for a little. It's like a teddy coat. It needed work. And it's chunky and would need to hang, so I didn't even Google it, I just threw it back. And then this was a leather jacket that's in such good shape. I can't skip this one, guys. I'm I'm willing to 
spare a hanging spot for this. It's too nice. Uh-oh. We've got a thief on the loose. There's still a security tag on this one. Another rotation had just happened, and this had so far actually been a pretty good rotation, so I thought I would let you guys look along with me in case we can find something together. Sure enough, we did find this blanky compression top. That is a total yes and a total grab. So we'll be getting these loft new with tag pants to bring to my consignment store. All right, guys, I'm getting a little worn out, so let's go through one of my last sets of grabs from a final rotation. These are actually American Eagle jeans. They are kind of a cargo jogger. I did skip them, actually. I just kind of thought about them for a sec because they were cargo. I found another MWL Madewell, and this one's in better shape. So I did pick up that one to sell. I found this cabbie top that's really cute, but not cute enough to sell. So I'm going to bring it to the consignment store. And for Debbie, I grabbed this really adorable Zara sweater. This is a men's piece. And I know it looks kind of fuzzy and stuff, but I think it actually came that way. I'm not 100% sure. It's really cute. And either way, it could be sweater shape. So let's do one last rotation and see what we can grab. I found this adorable pair of baggy wide leg Levi's. They're the 569 loose straight jean. They're so cute. They are vintage and they're super, super nice. $130 later. And I never found that Sorel clog, which is extremely depressing. I feel like I did find something else that I had been looking for, but I can't remember what it was. <laughs> but either way, that was a very successful trip, honestly. It was probably one of the better trips I've had in a really long time. Plus, I would say that it was not as busy inside as it looked from the lack of parking spots, but it still was pretty busy at first, but at the end it got quite not busy which was really nice. It's also actually nice outside now, which is also very nice. Good morning once again, everybody. This is actually the next morning. Ryan's busy once again, so he can't even pop in and say hi. But I just wanted to say- Editing Jack here, please ignore the toothpaste on my mouth. I hope you guys really enjoyed this thrift with me. I had a blast. I think it was, it was a pretty good thrift with me and a good like mix of things. We found a lot of good things. We found some funky weird things like those creepy AF baby dolls. Just all kinds of stuff. I showed you some stuff to consign, some stuff I got for Debbie, some stuff I got for Ryan. So it was very all-encompassing of what my Vince trip looked like. Before I say goodbye, I did want to update you guys on what Thursday's video is going to look like. Thursday, we are actually going to be doing a haul of just myself. I know that we plan on doing a two-person one, but as so happens every once in a while, Ryan is gonna be too busy this week to go to the bins with me, so it is gonna be just me. It isn't gonna be a regular bins haul, though. We are going to do our first try at doing one of the bins hauls that I will update in the future. And what I think we're gonna do is tomorrow, I'm gonna to do kind of a regular bins haul but with each item I'm gonna say what I'm doing with it and kind of what I expect to make from them and then either in a month or two months 
we're gonna come back to that bins haul and we are going to go over what actually has sold so far, what I actually made from them, and just see kind of how it lines up with what I expect. So I think I'm also gonna title the video like, I spent $130 at the bins to make blankety blank. And I'm gonna add up all of kind of my estimates and just see how close we get to it with those items. So I think that'll actually be really fun and it'll be really exciting to see the reality of how much you actually make from a bins haul. So I am gonna be hauling the stuff that you guys just saw, but don't worry, you didn't see every single thing. I did show you quite a bit, but it's not everything. And I'm even gonna show you the stuff I got for the real real, and we're gonna go over what I expect from them. So I'm pretty excited about that. I guess I, and I'll ask this again in the Thursday video, but I guess the only thing I want to know from you guys is do you think that we should do it for a month down the road, or do you think we should do it for two months? Should I give it two months to see what sells and how much it sells for, or should I give it one? I'm not sure. I'll re-ask that on Thursday, but you can answer here if you want. But I'm pretty excited to try this out. I really like that idea that a couple people left on Instagram, and I'm excited to put it into action so quickly. I'm also just excited. I've never broken down what I think I'm gonna make from a full bins trip. So I kind of, like, I know I'm gonna make money, but I don't have it planned out or mapped out how much. So I'm excited to do this. I hope you guys are too. But I will see you guys on Thursday for the bins haul. And then Saturday, Ryan and I will be back for a regular What Sold Saturday. Thank you guys for coming along with me and keeping me company. And I will see you on Thursday. Mm -hmm.